This is just a little very quick overview video of how to do the activity series virtual lab. So if you follow the link to the simulation, you'll start at this screen. You want to click on start. And then you want to click into activity one. Uh, when you're here, when you click on the different metals on the right hand side, so you got magnesium, copper, zinc, and silver, you click on those one at a time. Uh, and then to the, what will happen is these will show up. This is meant to represent four pieces of magnesium metal. Uh, if I click on copper, you can see they change and they look like a copper color. So um, you pick the different metal and then to actually carry out the reaction, you click on this red down here where it says click here to place the metals into the solution. When I do that, they all get lowered into the solution. So I'm taking copper and I am dipping it into a magnesium solution, a zinc solution, a copper solution. Notice it's blue like copper two solution and a silver solution. Now, uh, I'm gonna actually repeat that because watch what happens to the silver solution. Not only does the silver solution change color, which is kind of subtle, the other ones don't appear to change at all. If you click here, you pull them out, you can now see that these three copper strips are the same, but this one is noticeably different. And while obviously it's just kind of cartoonish, uh, the copper metal is now covered in a grayish silvery metal. And so what you're supposed to be taking away from this uh, is that certain combinations of metals and metal ions will not react, like these three on the left, there was no reaction. But when I put copper into a silver solution, a solution that has silver ions, um, there actually is a reaction that takes place. Uh, the solution has become bluish, which implies that copper ions are being formed, copper two plus ions. And I see a silvery metal forming on the copper, which I can confidently assume is silver because the only thing in this solution is silver and nitrate. So there seems to be a reaction between the copper metal and the silver ions. And what we're gonna take away from that is that because copper reacted with a silver solution, that means that copper is a more reactive metal than silver. So in terms of the activity series, what we're doing is we're ranking metals for how reactive they are. So the copper reacted with the silver, so it's more reactive. Here, the copper did not react with the zinc. That tells us that copper is less reactive than zinc. If copper was more reactive than zinc, there would have been a similar reaction when these two were mixed, like there was when copper was mixed with silver. So I now know that copper is more reactive than silver. It's less reactive than zinc because there was no reaction. And it must be less reactive than magnesium because there was no reaction. It won't react with itself because copper won't react with its own ion in that way. You can also click in here to the molecular scale reactions uh, and you can repeat uh, the same thing and you can drag this into the different solutions and then you can start it and you could actually see that this is the reaction that's taking place on the atomic level. So the, uh, the copper ions, you saw them give electrons to the silver ions. Let's uh, see if I can repeat that. So you see copper, here's Ag plus ions, and you can see electrons leave the copper, go to the silver, the copper ions dissolve off, the silver metal forms. So that's what's taking place in these reactions. And then this walks you through um, the different half equations so that you can actually see what's taking place. So it's a pretty cool simulation. Um, you can kind of do it experimentally, mix them like you would uh, if we were in the lab. And let me see if I can actually get out of here. Yada, 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 let's go all the way back. Okay, so now I can go back home and I can go back to that activity one. Eventually you do activity one and I think activity three, maybe activity four, follow along through the instructions. And uh, hopefully now that you've done it, you know how to click on the metal, how to mix them, and then take them back out and observe whether or not reactions have taken place to rank the metals for uh, reactivity.